Well, I cut the power. And what I'm doing here is I'm running this wire down, down, down. Down to there. And then it goes right here. gonna go like that. I'm gonna pound that in a little further. And uh, so it won't ever be in the way. And that fell over. We gotta get it up here in this deal. I'll be right back. My stuff is stiff. Never tried this with the electric box on of course. Everybody knows that right? I gotta try to get this to go right there. <laughs> I think I need some needle nose now. I'll be back. Guess what? I finally got it. And I couldn't do it on camera. this buried once and I dug it back up because Texas off-grid Texas homesteader said code says it needs to be down below the ground 18 engines for the least amount of resistance we're not gonna go down 18 but we are going to go below ground <laughs> so, okay. it won't be dragging on the door or the rake or anything or I'm trying to <clears throat> work around here cleaning <clears throat> well it's, it's almost even with the ground I'll come back I don't know if y'all could see that okay she's below the ground um, now I'm gonna cut my cable off and attach it that's, that's as good as I can do I might go a little bit more well, I drove her down there about five or six inches down. See if I can't cut that off with something. Well, I did get it cut off. It was easy. I found these in the street. They're damn nice too. Right. Well, I'll come back. Finally, I got her underneath the ground. It's pretty far down. I'll pound it a little bit after I get it attached a little bit further. I'm running out of room to pound here. Finally have all my box grounded. Now I'll ground my inverter to this wire and it'll all be grounded. Good, good enough. I hope. I don't think there'll be a lot of resistance. I bet it works fairly decent. All right, I'll get back. Well, the ground's not 18 un inches under the ground. But, <coughs> as far as ever. can do it. There. See, that's not going to hang on anything. I'll get it all 
cover it up. See, it's all on the ground. Every last bit of it. I'm sure that's good enough. Probably not as good as 18 inches below ground, but it's a good five or six. It's more than most of them. All right. Okay, you guys. See that little deal right there? Got me a ground wire in there. And it's coming down. Yeah, you can't see it. It's coming down right here. It stops. So I'm going to try to uh, connect it. Now I could buy a wire clamp, which would be much easier, but what fun would there be in that? And that would cost money. So, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Well, I had some still, sh or not still shots, but some on a tripod of me soldering this. And they just, uh, I don't think they came out. I'll have to look and see. Anyway, I got her soldered. I think that'll. I think that's making good contact. Anyway, one of them goes up in the electric box, and then the other one goes over into the 